Hello, welcome back to Let's Play Persona 4. Where I didn't, where I just wanted to split this up because it was taking way too long. Come on, like 40 minutes or something close to that. No thanks. No thanks. Well, today we're gonna go to Juness because we still have to see Yosuke's and Teddy's end thingy for social links. So yeah. Let's go talk to them. Or find them, if it were. Hey guys. Yo. Sup, Yosuke? I'm super duper happy. Ah, good times. Yeah, we're gonna we're saying goodbyes, man. This is the end. Final episode. And I'm happy. But, you know, I feel kind of sad too, because we're leaving. Hmm. It's the last time we'll ever see this town. It's so peaceful too, after all the crap we went through. That's right. We were right in the middle of the case. When you came over to this side. Yeah. A lot of stuff happened. Face my true self, pissing at the corner. Yeah, it was pretty awesome. Tim hit that thing with a golf club. Yosuke, did you smack Sensei? Yeah, we had an epic fight. It was the best social link breakup ever. I love that thing. What did you say so early? No! No, Teddy, no! Don't, don't do that. No. Don't do that, Ted. You're gonna put me in bruises, bro. You're gonna, like, freeze me to death. Yeah. Yeah, we all did. Like, we had some great times. And, yeah, we gave you life. And you we've all changed greatly after all the stuff we've done. Oh, it's okay, Ted. Aww. Ted's the only guy that ever says love. Oh, and he's blushing, which is not wrong at all. Let's not. Feel a strong bond between the guys. Nah. Do you want Teddy to come with you? Oh my gosh. That would be cool, but how would you get back? He could probably just like go through the TV. But yeah, you said goodbye to all the people you formed close bonds with. Should you return to your house? No, no. I mean, oh crap, I forgot my watch back there. Yeah, um, you should return to your house. No, no. Is there anything you saw? Wait, what do you mean? What do you mean there's... Wait, what? I'm not finished yet, what? Start by the food cart? Sure, but we really haven't had a, a meeting, a cutscene for the Fool in Judgment Link yet. What are you doing, game? What are you doing? Well... The usual food court, I guess no one's here. Might as well sit down. Get something to eat. Ah, oh, I found that watch. Yeah, this is where we spent many afternoons together. Just sitting around. Brings back a lot of memories. Oh, hey, it's Yosuke and... Huh? Yosuke and... Teddy. Hey. What a coincidence! It must be destiny! Yeah, destiny! What are you doing, Gabe? Oh, so you guys came here? Yeah, today? yeah. It's our very Aww. own special headquarters. There's so many memories here. Yeah. Yo there, senpai. I thought you'd be here. Hey, it's Kanji and the rest of the guys. We had a feeling we'd run into everyone if we well, came here. Well, it's good to know that they fully voice his final cutscene for the end of the game. We were planning on seeing you off at the station tomorrow. Yeah. But I was feeling too restless, so I decided to come here. Okay, then. Well, since we're all here, why don't we have something to eat? <laughs> yeah, sure, let's do it. Ooh, let's have 
steak, steak, and make Yosuke pay for everything. Wow, she is a slave driver. Will you shut up about your steaks? Uh, well, we're all having some. Wait, why did we change places? Well, I guess we just like move our work table, but yeah. So we're done. We're having the. <laughs> we reminisce with the others. I really had fun in this. Of course world. we did, Ted. Dude, your whole existence is about. I know. Fun. Well, what we've gone through wasn't yeah. all fun and games, but I gotta say. I've never felt so fulfilled in my I life. I know. I mean, we've saved this town from being destroyed. It's fun. It seems we've been working on this forever, but at the same time, it felt like it went so fast. I know. Fast. Eight months is kind of fast. We won't ever gather here again oh. like this, or tear our hair out trying to solve the mystery. Oh, no. I don't want that. Even if we wanted to talk about it all, there were so many extraordinary things that no one would believe. Yeah, they think they'd like throw us in the asylum. Come to think of it, for me, I think it all started when Chie told me about the Midnight Channel. Okay. I think I heard about it from her yeah, too. Yeah. Why is that, Chie? How did you learn about yeah, it? Yeah. Who told you? I guess it was random just a random rumor. rumor. A lot of girls were trying it out. Oh, all right then. Huh. I wonder how it started then. Yeah, how how did it start actually? Who knows? M maybe someone accidentally came across it. Are you seriously gonna bring this up again? Oh my gosh. The Midnight Channel. You know that really was the cause of everything. Yeah. I mean the fog lifted after yeah. we caught Adachi, but there's still a lot of stuff that isn't oh clear. Oh my yet. gosh, are you seriously gonna do this game? Are you seriously gonna keep us here? It's still foggy over there too. Some weird guy might use it to do bad things. No. Didn't that Amino something monster say it granted us power? Yeah, yeah, it did. I bestowed power onto those who could brave the hollow forest. Yeah. In other words, he gave the power to enter TVs to those who awakened to their persona ability. Yeah, he did do that. So that he might use us as pawns to enact his but scheme. But what scheme that is, we do not know. Hey, that reminds me. Didn't your hand suddenly slip into the TV even before anything happened to you? Yeah, actually. Now that you mention it, th the TV did try to eat us. Does that mean you're an exception? Huh. Well, wait. Then what about Adachi and Namatane? What is this madness that's going on? Those two could go inside TVs before all this stuff about Persona. Yeah, right? you got a you got a point there, Chie. What? Then Senpai and the other two could do it for some other. Yeah, reason? but what reason that is, I do not know. There must be something you're not remembering. Anything come to your mind, Senpai? Well, let me think. Hmm. You're the only exception. You had the power to enter TVs before your persona awake. And the same goes for Adachi and Namitame. You remember that Nanako gave you something this morning as you were. A yeah, leaving. It's a letter. Whoa! A letter? What the hell? Hey, this better not be another oh, warning. Oh, no more warnings. The game's over. Just let it end. The letter's for. Adachi! Douchebag! What are you doing here? Huh? This is from Jay? What the hell? It's from Adachi. What is going on in this game? I'm sure you're surprised to get this letter out of the No room. shit, Adachi! I'm writing this because there's something I need to oh tell Oh god, you. what are you telling us? Ever since I made it out alive, there are some things I understand Like now. what? It's true that my game's Yeah. Are right. As you all insisted at the time, I'll abide by the rules of this. Okay, world. so he, I guess he's learned his lesson. But as long as I'm in stir here, I can't clean up after myself. What do you mean? So I hope this will give you something to think about. Oh no! Stuff. There's still this feeling I can't. Damn shake. it! It's about how it all started, about that midnight channel. Oh dear! Are we seriously going to learn about the midnight channel? Now I remember. Someone told me about it when I first came to town. 
before I heard the rumors at the station. Oh, really? And I was intrigued when I noticed that something similar was written on Namatane's reports as well. Huh. So, apparently, whoever came in contact with Adachi also came in contact with Namatane. So, that must mean they must come in contact with Tim. But, I can't remember who it was that told me. Oh, really, then? Since Namatame and I both gained our power after coming to Inaba, I have a feeling that has something to do with it. He might be on to something, actually. I don't know if any of this will be useful or not, but I hope it can help somehow. God damn. Th this is, like, really useful for Adachi. Hmm. It's not very helpful to know that he can't remember who it was. I guess, but... Man, this is just turning out really well. I'm not sure how to put it. We're but screwed, aren't we? Kind of know the We can't feeling. finish this game now, can we? It's like I don't know how to say this. I don't know, man. Like something's connecting all these things. <laughs> something oh. beyond what we can see. No more game. That world, the midnight channel, the ability to enter TVs. They all feel like separate things. Yeah, but they're all connected. You know what I mean? First the rumors, then the serial murder, followed by us deciding to investigate the case. What is going on in this game? I have no clue. If they all really were separate, they wouldn't fit together like this, right? There has to be some kind of conductor behind everything. Well, I guess Yosuke's right somehow. I mean, it's Yosuke. So you think the person Adachi mentioned, the the one who told him about the Midnight Channel, it, is that conductor? Yeah, I guess. This was the only person that we've all seen. Uh, did I strike gold? Damn it, Chie! It, it's seriously just something. Too damn smart for your own damn good. Senpai, is there anything like that you can think of? Well, hmm, the power center TV, where, every, where everything about this case started. You learned about the Midnight Channel from Chie a few days after coming to this town, and she told you the rumor. But Adachi and Amitame heard about the Midnight Channel from someone immediately after coming to this town. When you think back, you feel as if something happened to you well upon your arrival here. I think there there is something, guys. We were involved in a murder case last year, which we succeeded in solving. Yeah, we kicked ass. But the monster we fought last said we did well in playing our parts. Perhaps this means Adachi and Namatame were players as well. Could it be that from the beginning, this serial murder case was merely a portion of a much larger scheme? To destroy the entire world! And none of the people who were directly involved in the case ever suspected it. Hey, this scheme... That's gonna be bad. Could it be the whole thing about filling both worlds with the fog and turning mankind into shadows? That's bad. So someone was behind the scenes watching us. The culprits. And maybe even that monster. And he manipulated Adachi and Namatame at the very beginning, so everything would come together perfectly? Let's go out into town. We might find something. <laughs> I don't wanna! Although, you may be the only one capable of I guess, it. Naoto, but I don't wanna do it. Please contact the rest of us should you come across Okay, anything. then. Alright. We can't say our goodbyes tomorrow with this hanging over oh. our heads. Let's go figure out. Why this did out. you mention it? Who could have given you this initial spark for this power? The only one you met after the town was coming was my uncle Dojima. In any case, you see that you must confirm the truth. We must fight a Dojima. Well, this game has turned upside its head, and now it's cloudy outside. Yeah, once this happens, the, the weather turns cloudy. And the music changes! What the hell, game? What the hell? Anyway, um... Let's go to the riverbed. Cause that's where Dojima is. We should be able to find him there. Dojima, where are you? Where are you, bro? You brolic man. Hey, Dojima. What up? Hey. Um. 
I just wanted to talk to you. Yeah. Oh, damn. So, Jojima, about my first day in town. What's wrong? Oh, you have no idea. First ones are great, you're right. Hmm. Yeah, I left home that afternoon to pick you up and came straight home. Now that I think back, I was called back to work, so I didn't talk much. Huh. Yeah, a lot did happen. Hey, big bro? Yeah, wait. Yeah, we did stop somewhere, didn't we? The, the gas station! I used to... Ugh. Jeez, no wonder you remember that. Poor... Ugh. You were talking about this weird attendant. The gas station? Wow. That's where I first... That's when I first met you. Now that you mentioned it, I remember- oh my gosh. Could this gas station attendant have anything to do with this case? Oh my gosh. Uh, um. Yeah, he does look weird. And they make you look sick. I look sick? Uh. You don't remember. Well, you- is, are you cars- oh god, this is like horrible memories, man. A little scary for some re- oh my gosh. Hmm. I didn't know about that, but honestly, I'm surprised you're talking about these questions. Do you know him? Um, it might be important. I see. Oh. <laughs> there are some dark clouds on the horizon. We might get rain soon. I understand. Yeah. <laughs> First place you stopped when you came to town was the gas station. Maybe something will jog your memory. Whoa, you game, game, game. Well, now with the crazy music playing, I think it's time we find. Oh, not here. Well, that's a shame. Might as well go to the Velvet Room to tell Igor about this crazy shenanigans that's going on. Maybe he can help. Add some clarity to us. Maybe. Hey, Igor. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Why, hello! How may I help yeah, you? Yeah, I think this is over. You have solved the mystery and deflected the disaster that so nearly fell upon you. Yeah, we did great, but we need your help. Is there something else beyond this you need our assistance? <sighs> no, there's one last thing, Igor. Intriguing. So, is there still something that leaves you unsatisfied? Unfortunately, yes. Hmm. What may that be? Um, hmm. Well, maybe... Yeah. Well then, let's take a look and see what it is you might be sensing. What is this, Mattis? What are you doing? Magic! <gasps> what is it, Margaret? Ah, what this are is a you surprise. What are you talking about? These are shards of power, allowing one to see through to the truth of things without being swayed by hollow rumor. Ha! Huh. That's pretty cool. Interesting. Indeed, you have come here today for a reason. Yeah. Then I shall play my part as of well. Of course. What is he doing? Oh my gosh. Whoa! So shiny. That is a crystal of power, which you have nurtured through your. It's journey. so shiny. An orb that repels fabrications that is pretty of badass. all sorts, dispels lies, and shines upon the truth. That is without a doubt the coolest power ever. Whoa! I got the shiny. You attain the orb of sight. Truth is a thing which only appears to those who have observed, considered, and made a choice. At the end of the path you chose lies the truth. Believe in it, and continue without faltering. Thanks, Margaret. <laughs> How marvelous. It seems that you will reveal the journey's true end. One beyond our predictive power. That's pretty cool. Now go. To the place where everything began. Yeah, we gotta find that gas station attended from hell. Oh, this is gonna be so crazy. 
All right. No! Why, game? Why? Why is it raining? You! You! Hi there! Did you need something? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is gonna be good. Isn't this where... First? What are you talking about? Oh, part-time job. Well, eh, I've never found an opening yet. Hmm. Do you know Namatame? Oh, see your mirrors? <laughs> yeah, r real tragedy, isn't it? Ah, uh, thank goodness. Something else? Hmm. Um. Have you met those two? That's a weird question to ask. I don't know what it was right. I've been in town for a good long time. I didn't know them personally. So, you mind leaving me alone? Me something else? Hey, didn't you miss that? Did you do anything to them? Huh? Those two? Oh, that's right. I remember now. I think I met them the first day they came to town. So I greeted them with the saying, Welcome to Inaba. That's all. Just that. <sighs> what did you do to me? What did I do? Don't you remember? I met you here for the first time you came to town. And did the same thing what I did to those two. I greeted you. That's all, remember? We talked for a couple of minutes. Hey, mind if I ask you something? Why all these questions? Is there something bothering you about the time when we first met? Did you give me these powers? <laughs> Amazing. You've reached me at last. Let's drop this charade. To be quite honest, I was waiting for you to come. Adachi, Namatame, and you. It is I who awakened the power within you three. The ones who had potential. But having said that, I am rather surprised. Cutscene powers! Just who is this gas station attendant? I really want to know. Why do it? So the last battle wasn't enough for you? Yeah. I'm kind of crazy like that. You certainly have the powers I was expecting. Oh my gosh. It's a girl. <sighs> Who are you? You must know by now. Isn't that why you came? Yeah. I do. Your friends were drawn to the spark I stirred in you. That's why they're here now, with their awakened <sighs> powers. Still, I didn't think you'd make it all the way to me. I mean, after that really annoying, complicated trap I threw in the purse, your mind went fighting with Namitami the bad ending. Indeed. I never expected this at all. Yes. You're really something. Oh yeah, definitely. Total pimp. What? What? You don't remember? When you first came to town, I gave your power a gentle push. What are you on about, woman? Just like this. What are you talking about? Aw, uh, what? Whoa. What the? Flashback? Are you in high school? What the hell? Does it surprise a city boy to see how Back little there is out here? There's so little to do, I'm sure you'll get bored fast. You'll either be hanging out with your friends or doing part-time jobs. Speaking of which, we're actually looking for part-time help right now. Give it some thought, why don't you? We don't mind if you're a student. Bad touch! Bad touch! Why did you shake just now, controller? Oh! You felt an extreme dizziness. You're not the only one I welcome to town with a handshake greeting. You bitch. 
I did the same for a few other outsiders like you. Yeah, that's you, not Vitaly. A handful of strangers were more than sufficient to stimulate a small place like this. You're crazy, you know that? Just who are... What are you exactly? But it seems the stimulus was stronger than I imagined. Enough to envelop this town with fog. And later <sighs> lift it. Not only that. You now stand before me as if your assigned part wasn't enough. Damn straight. I want to know the truth. <sighs> To learn the truth! That's all I want. What will grasping the truth do for you? Why such greed? I guess it's the foolish nature of being mortal. <sighs> Whoa, what is happening? Dude! She's flying! I am Izanami. Wait, are you the wife of Izanagi? Amino Sagiri. Ruler of the fog is merely an aspect of myself that I birthed long ago. So we kicked one of your testicles. <laughs> so yeah, we killed her child. We defeated her child, so yeah, she's pissed. You awakened to a power I had not imagined. Yeah, I'm freaking Tim Hawk. And now you face me with it. What you gonna do about it? Miss God Lady. I can no longer ignore the situation as mere foolishness. This may be fate, as decreed by the world. Hmm. Very well. This time I shall pit my full strength against you. I won't be holding back either. But in return, you must come prepared to follow through in your futile resistance. Oh, we're gonna take you out. <laughs> I'll be waiting for you there. Well, I'll see you then. Ugh, Darth Vader, what the hell? The one you had just encountered was the entity behind everything. Her name is Izanami. You can hear your friend's voices in the, in the distance. Damn, that hurt. Hey, are you alright? Who is that you were just talking um, to? Um, evil god lady? Did she just... Yep, yeah, she's magic. W wait, don't tell me. Yeah, that. she's evil. You told everyone... You told your gathered friends what happened between you and the gas station attendant. Yeah, she's a psycho. So, it wasn't over after Yeah! All. What made you think it was over? You're saying this so-called Izanami is the conductor, and she's waiting for us in the other world? That sucks. If we don't beat her, I'm sure it'll all happen again. Whoa, 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 damn, that's loud. Okay, the others aren't far off, so I'll call them up. Alright then, magic cells. Yeah, will ya? Tell Just don't accept really text messages from case. Naoto. Just don't do that. Right, we'll defeat her and put an end to this for sure yeah, this time. Yeah, we're gonna time. kick her ass. Alright, then once we're all ready, let's meet up at Junette's. Alright then, let's go. Hello, Patricia Powers! You finally discovered the true cause of everything that happened. You must defeat this Izanami who waits for you in the other world. If Izanami truly gave birth to Amano Saiguri, then, then as long as Izanami is left alone, the town will definitely fall into the fog again someday. And if that were to happen, everyone all those precious people to you would become mere shadows. This is the most important task you have faced, and it must be taken care of before leaving town. You must ensure to complete tr peace for this town where you live with everyone. Yeah, this is serious shit, guys. We got gotta beat her up. Damn birds. And yeah, that's it. Now we have to go to Juness and you have to gather together. Gather on? Hells yeah. Let's go. Investigation team go for the final time. Unless we have exposition. Okay. All right. It's finally it. So many things have happened, but we but we will beat Izanami, right? Yes, but it's the last match for them. We must do. We need to make sure that everyone's safe. Enter the TV. Let's go, Senpai. Let's do this. Yeah!
All right then. Once you had it, once you do this, there is no turning back. I sense a tremendous presence. It's unlike anything we had faced. Oh goddamn! Even her five five hundred channels of pay per view can't stop it. And it seems like a new area has formed. That sucks. It really does, guys. I bet it's that lady. She's waiting for us there. All right then. That reminds me. That Amino something we beat said stuff like, We'll meet again. Damn. If that thing's gonna show up again, let's crush him completely so he can't cause any more problems from here on out. Okay then, let's go. Damn straight. Kicked ass. Let's go snap that thing in two. We'll do it and give Senpai a big farewell tomorrow. Yeah, it's gonna be a manry party. Let's do our best like always, leader. Yeah. It's kind of sad that this really is going to be the last time we do something like yeah, this. Yeah, this is really the end. You know, this might sound like a weird thing to say, but it was a lot of fun. I know, it really was. This game's awesome. That's because we all strove together toward a common yeah, goal. Yeah, to kick that crazy, is like, save the, war the town. There were many things we believed in without questioning them. The culprit's identity, their motives. There were many occasions where we nearly gave up. Yeah, but not Tim. He's a player. It may have been easier if we'd chosen to look the other way, but we didn't. Because we're the main characters. We don't do that. Even if we had to fight every inch of our way, I want to go on feeling, seeing, touching, and thinking for myself. Yeah, we won't give up our senses that easily. Yeah. Still, one person alone can only understand so Through the much. powers of these social links, will you be able to That's save the world? That's we're all here together. Right! All for one and one for Let's all! Let's do this! So long as someone's got your back, you can kick against the pricks no matter how tough they are. M go, go, Kanji. This is for our future! Save the world! So we can see him off tomorrow with no regrets. Damn straight, dude. <sighs> yeah. What's wrong, Daddy? Yosuke always has to try to make himself look all cool. <laughs> yeah, but that's what makes him awesome. But he's so pathetic, it makes my skin crawl. Probably just fleas on your ratty oh! suit. Oh! I spilled juice on you earlier. What? No wonder I smell of orangey freshness. Wow. <laughs> uh, well then, let's do Okay, let's get ready for the final dungeon of the game. And I mean it, the final dungeon. There's no more BS fake final dungeons. This is it. This will be the last time I'll help you catch the bad guys, Sensei. Good luck. Okay then. I want to. No. Sure, why not? Let's actually go to the Velvet Room. Actually, no. Damn it, I want to go to the Velvet Room. Ugh. Must resist. No, it can't. Must resist. No. Alright, I'll, I'll see you later. This is FMA2. Signing off. Have a good day. And don't screw with the gas attendants. The bathrooms are dirty as all hell. Bye.